might even clear my iPad. Probably. All right, lie down, you guys, on your back. to the front of your right chin, extend your left leg up and start to flex and point the foot. And then send that leg down, pull your right knee in and circle the right knee, stabilize the left side. Flip the front over and pull your knee up into the right. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, pin your belly down toward the floor. So, really toward the ground, really keep it down. And then draw the knee into the center and lift the left leg up. Slide your hands behind your head. Elevate the left leg up to the sky and then lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. And we're going to keep lifting and lowering that leg. And see if you can use or have a sense of it connecting to your torso. The next time it lowers, twist left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Lift it, come back to center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale. It's like a weird half bicycle. Like a weird unicycle, I think. One more time. Hold the twist. Stretch the left arm open, the right arm open. Reach a little more like you're trying to hug somebody, sort of. And then take that left leg up, turn to the center, bend the left knee, cross the left ankle in front of the right thigh, lower the head. Reach behind the right leg or to the front of the left shin. And gently rock side to side here. Little flexion in the left foot. And then when you feel like this is loosened up, if it needed to loosen up, you're going to just move that left knee away from you and toward you. So just subtle, for me it's not a big rotation. It's a big rotation, but I'm cheating with my hips. So I wanna to try to keep my outer hips steady and just isolate this pressure of the left leg going forward and back. So I'm, it's probably 45 degrees at the most in the hip socket. And then pressing it away I'm going to go ahead and let it fall over to the right. So the whole leg unit fell over to the right and then I'm pressing my left leg, the one on top, away from me. So if I took this to its farthest extreme, I'd be in like a twisting fire log pose. Left arm opens and turn the head to the left. Deep breath in and exhale. Take the pressure off that hip flexor, pull the belly in, rotate back to center, pull the left knee to the chest and extend the right leg long. Lift, start to lift and lower that right leg. And before we do that, actually, let that right leg get heavy and just circle the left knee. Stabilize the right side. Pull the knee open to the left. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, pin the belly down. 
heavy, heavy, heavy through everything on the floor. Draw the knee back into the middle and insert, like pull that right leg into the, almost like up into the torso and then begin to lift and lower that right leg. More from the abdominals, less from swinging the leg. See so if you can feel its engagement and its connection to the torso. Tuck your baby ribs down and, or if you can, and tuck your tailbone a little bit and that might help. And then bring your hands behind your head and do a few more. Lift your head up. leg lowers, you're going to twist right elbow to the outside of the leg. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale and exhale. And do five more. Try to pick up that left shoulder blade. On the next one, reach both arms open. Push the right straight arm into the outside of the left leg. Reach the left arm back. Turn right ribs toward left. Bring it back to the center, lower the head. Lift that right leg up, bend the knee, and cross the right ankle over the thigh. Reach through and pull in. And then rock a little bit side to side, just loosening this up. Notice if you're holding your breath at all. And then stabilize it and start to just push that right leg away. It's away from you and mine just bounces back on the side. It just like won't stay. So I push the right thigh away from me and it comes right back. Just trying to find a little mobility in that direction. And then release the grip on the legs and drop them over to the left. Take your left hand to your right thigh and press it away from you. And if I were to go to the biggest extreme, I'd be in fire lock pose. Right arm opens and twist to the right. Turn left ribs toward right. And breathe here. Engage your core, bring it back to the center. Hold that left leg, extend the right leg up. Then bend the right knee, hold the outer right foot. And the outside of the left foot, happy baby. Press the forearms into the shins and the shins. Resist inward. Lengthen your tailbone down. And rock here a little bit, side to side. And then crossing at the ankles, bring your feet toward, behind your head. So take your feet behind you. And then let it go and rock forward and back. So try to pull your ankles apart. And then come all the way up to a seated position. And one shin will be in front of the other. You'll take your left arm out to the side and sweep your right arm over your ear. Turn your left ribs toward your right ribs. Did something weird happen? Okay, so I'm just doing this. Okay. I think I'm not on mute. Pin your left sits bone down to make that left side a little heavier. And sweep the torso forward and take the right arm out to the side. Take the left arm up and over and turn your right ribs toward your left. Bow the ribs up so they're kind of unnaturally lifting toward that top arm. Just sticking the top ribs up and turn.
and pull down the middle. Make your bum really heavy so it doesn't lift up. You can stack your palms or reach the arms forward. Pull your belly in and come on up to sit. Turn your palms up, slide your elbows back. Square your chest and your shoulders, feeling shoulder blades slide toward the spine and the neck long. Track the breath, moving the belly. And when the mind begins to distract you, just return to the feeling of sensation in the body. Do what you can to do absolutely nothing. And simply watch your breath. Notice if the mind is trying to hijack and return to observing the breath. Locate the stillness. And this connection to breath, as we move into more of a dynamic practice, invite this in. So even when we're moving, find these opportunities to stay with the breath and out of the mind. Gonna transition to all fours and keep this through line of meditation as we move. Inhale, lifting the tailbone up, lift the head, and feel their relationship, the relationship to the crown of the head and the tip of the tailbone. And as though you had like some sort of crayon or marker attached to your tailbone and head, round them both. Maybe you can even imagine that your mat were like a big long piece of paper and so was the sky or the ceiling. And so as you lift your head and your tailbone, you're marking up above you as well. Rounding. Inhale and lift. And walk your knees back a little bit and begin to circle your hips around and move the head around and imagine that you were somehow painting or drawing or markering with the crown of your head and your tailbone. And perhaps imagine those images around you that you're creating as you move. And eventually slide your hips all the way back to your feet and walk your hands over to the right. Bow your ribs to the left. So there's a big C curve on the left side of your body and pin, pin, pin the butt down.
And then center your ribs, walk to the center and over to the left. Bowing the ribs to the right. So slide the rib cage to the right, feel that tension on the right side, breathe into it. And locate the breath there. Locate sensation there. And center the ribs to walk the hands forward, drop the head. Deep breath here. Exhale. Push forward to your hands and knees, tuck your toes, lift your bum and press your chest to your thighs. Extend your left heel to the earth, draw your right knee to your chest, cross your right ankle over your left thigh. You might have to walk your hands in a little more. Come up onto your left toes, bend your left knee, and then walk your hands all the way back and land on your left foot. Stand here in this standing figure four, but with the hands on the ground. Pull the belly in and slowly roll up to stand. Reach down, hold your right ankle, bring the right foot into tree on that left thigh. Center, ground. Bring the tailbone down, tuck your ribs in and reach the arms all the way up. Maybe start to look up and twist to the right, Ooh, that's hard. Left arm forward, right arm back, turning the head to the right. Circle that right hand down and back up. Turn your right leg forward and extend the right leg out in front of you. Hold for three, two, one. Bend your standing leg, step your right foot forward, step onto it. Bend your right knee, sweep your arms back behind you, airplane, balance. Pull your belly in, square your hips, and little pulses with that left leg, five, four, point the toes and reach it back, three, two, bend the right knee, slowly draw that left leg up, arms up to the sky, belly in. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Bring the hands to the heart and the hands eventually come down to the ground. Breathe here. Lift that left knee a little bit, bend the right knee more deeply. Pull the belly in, start to come up. Take your left foot, place it on the right thigh somewhere and stand tall and tree. Thigh and foot, foot into thigh, hands at the heart. Squeezing into the midline. Start to raise the arms up. Tuck the baby ribs in and the tailbone under. Reach the right arm forward, left arm back. Turn the head to the left. Balance. Bring the left arm down and up. Turn your left knee forward and extend the left leg out straight. Hold here, four, belly in, three, two. Bend the right leg, step onto the left foot, airplane the arms back, right leg extends behind you, pulse five, four, three, two, one. Place the right foot down next to the left. Inhale, reach the arms up. Look up to the sky, arch back. Then the elbows into cactus, lift the heart. Squeeze the shoulder blades, keep lifting the heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, extend the left leg back. Bring the hands to the heart, leave the left leg in the air. Lift the trunk. Balance here. Little bend in the right leg, pulse the left leg, five, four, three, two, one. Step your left foot back, crescent lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, twist to the right. 
High five someone with both hands. Feel your back body strong. Cactus the elbows, twist. Take the right hand to the left thigh. Reach the left arm up by the ear. Turn left ribs toward right. Twist. We're gonna windmill around to warrior two. Open up here. Reach forward, flip the right palm, and reverse. Pick up that outer right hip, stretch it back. Reaching the right arm forward, straighten the right leg, take the right hand to the right ankle, reach the left arm up. Bow your ribs up the way we always don't do in triangle. Bow them up toward the ceiling or sky and sweep that left arm over the ear. Turn right ribs toward left as you reach. Circle the left hand down, hands on either side of the front foot. Right leg bends. Step back plank. Folding here, wrist toward toes, toes toward wrist. Widen the shoulder blades. Breathe. Lengthen all sides of neck and firm your quadriceps nice and strongly. Bend your elbows halfway to the ground. Hold three, two, one, lie down onto your tummy, flip the toes over, shrug shoulders forward, up and back, cobra pose, curl the spine, lift the chin up, pin the elbows in, curl it, take it back, child's pose, stretch all the way back. Deep breath here, locate your breath in your body, exhale. Again, deep breath in. Exhale. Push forward the hands and knees, tuck the toes. Push back to the down dog with the chest toward the thighs. Lift the bum way up. Push the right heel down. Cross left ankle over right thigh. And walk your hands back into this figure four. Hands are on the ground. Breathing here. Loop the toes around the right arm. Lift your, lower your left knee a little bit. Sink back toward the heel of your right foot. Feeling that deep crease in the hip. Pull your heart farther forward. Deep piriformis stretch on that left booty. Pull the belly to the spine, rolling up on your way up. Take your left foot to your right hip bone. Coming into Ardha Padmasana, half lotus here, letting that left knee come down. Squeeze the outer hips in, hand to the heart, lift it up to the sky, take it behind your back. Reach for your left toes with your left hand or hold the right forearm. Start to fold over your standing leg Balancing with the hands not on the ground or on the ground if you need them. Folding in this half lotus tree. Slowly find your balance, come back up. Take your hand to the outside of the left foot and kick that left leg forward. Left arm back, twist. Untwist, leave the leg out in front of you. Reach both arms up, hold the leg out straight for three, two, one. Step onto the left foot, sweep the arms back, airplane. Pulse the right leg, five, four, three, two, one. Draw the right knee toward your body, cross your right ankle over your left thigh, bring your hands to the ground. So we're in that figure four right side. Hook your toes around the left arm, stick your butt back, and pull your heart forward. Breathing here. Start to roll up on your way up. Grab your right foot, 
place it on your left hip, coming into that half lotus, right hand at the heart. Reach the right arm up, take it behind you, either grab your right big toes or uh, your elbow on the left elbow. Stay here, balancing, or fold forward over the standing leg. Careful of your knees. Nice, you guys. Beautiful. Nice, beautiful, beautiful. Slowly make your way back up. Lift that right knee, release the binds. Stretch that right leg out in front of you, hold. Oops, sorry. Left hand to the outside of the right foot as you twist. Yes. Squeeze your sits bones toward each other. Turn it, left ribs toward right. Outer right hip down, head high. Nice, you guys. Bring that right hand down. Hold the woo, leg out straight for three. On five, two. And one step onto that right foot. Airplane the arms back. Left leg goes back, pulse five. Point to the toes, four. Three, belly strong, two. One, place the left foot down next to the right. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen to a flat back. Exhale, step your right foot back. Left foot back, plank. Hold nice and strong here. Wrists toward toes. Toes toward wrists. And then widen the shoulder blades apart. Squeeze the quadriceps toward the sky. Bend the elbows halfway. Point the toes, roll the heart upward dog. Lift the thighs off the ground, open the chest. Exhale back, downward dog. Step the left foot forward, inhale, reach the arms up, crescent. Exhale, twist. Right arm forward, left arm back. Left hand to the back of the right thigh. Right arm up by the ear. Twist right ribs toward left. Pull the tummy in. Warrior two, open it up. Reach forward, flip the left palm up, and reverse. Squeeze your outer hips in. Yeah, try to lift that left hip up a little more. Beautiful, you guys. Straighten your left leg, reach your left arm forward, hold your left ankle, reach the right arm up. Bow your ribs up and sweep the top arm over the ear. Turn left ribs toward right and reach it. Strong legs, reach. Nice, circle the right hand down in front of you. Hands come to the ground, step back, plank. Broaden the shoulder blades, spin your heels to the right. Take your left arm up, bow your ribs up, and take that left arm over the ear. Bring the right leg to nine o'clock. Open up here into fallen triangle. Lift your right knee to your chest. Hold the foot with your left hand and stretch that right leg out in front of you. Pivot and place that right foot on the front of your mat. Drop your left knee. Straighten your front leg. And then slowly slide toward Hanuman. So wriggle your hips side to side. And start to fold in deeper. Keep scissoring the legs and squeezing the outer hips in for power so that you're not just kind of going into deep flexibility but using strength. I'm sliding a block there so that I can remember to flex my quadriceps and outer butt muscles and lift the chest. So then keeping it strong. Working it strong. I'm gonna lean over to the right, come off the blocks, 
and bend the right leg. Stretch the left leg back. I'm just moving the block because it feels good to the front and I'm pushing down into it to lift the chest up. Feels good. Bend the left knee, reach the right arm back, hold that left ankle and pull back. So if I pull back and I kick the leg back and turn left ribs toward right. Reach that left arm up. And look up. Oh, nice. Maybe uh, bend that left elbow, bring it behind the head. And just find that nice sort of lift of your head with that left hand. And stretching in that left side. Release the hands down. Stretch the leg out, lean to the right. Sweep your left leg forward and hold that leg in front of you. Interlace the fingers around the foot and press your chest to your leg. So I'm bending my knee and I'm gluing my chest and leg. Yeah, and then just keep that leg bent and push the foot into the hands and pull in your hands. Then stretch the leg straight. But still touching my tummy and boobs. Stretch up. Look up. See, see something up there. Take the leg open to the left, right arm open. Like a little kid, like wee. And fire log pose. Bring that left ankle across on top of the right thigh. Slide your right chin forward. Widen your buttocks. Like send the sit bones apart. And then fold forward, hooking, if you can, the toes around your right arm. Yeah, if they don't stack, if they don't stack comfortably, put a block under your left knee. And that's nice. Or, but just make sure you're right, don't, don't be stickled in that left ankle. So try to <coughs> flex that left foot so that left ankle bone isn't collapsed in. Don't worry if the knee's up in the air, just don't let the ankle stickle. <laughs> And you can use those toes on that right arm to really help you engage. And leaning forward just deepens the pose. Quiet the mind. Whatever story it's telling you doesn't really matter. Just go to the breath. The mind will distract. Use it to help you concentrate. Follow the breath. Come on up slowly. So we're gonna transition this somehow. We're gonna lift the bum and come on to the, I don't know if this is possible. Maybe it was more likely in my mind, but maybe it's possible. Okay, so I hopped up onto my right foot. I'm still in the figure four, yay. And then I'm going to try to bring my hands in front of me and lift up. If it didn't work, it didn't work. <laughs> I was like, this is weird. Yeah, you guys did it. Hook your toes around the right arm. I think it's my right arm. Yep. Then reach the hands forward and pick up your right foot. Lower to the ground and pick it up. Four, three, two, one, land on that right foot, uncross, extend that left leg behind you. Roll that hip open, reach your left arm up, half move. Opening here, then square the hips, and drop the head, standing split. Step your left foot back. Step your right foot back, plank. Spin your heels to the left. Take your right arm up. Tailbone tucks under, ribs tuck in. Sweep your right arm over your ear. Kick your left foot forward, fall in triangle. 
Bow your ribs up. Enjoy. So my left leg went forward to three o'clock. Pick up your left knee. Right hand reaches for the left foot. Kick that leg to three o'clock. Carry it to 12 o'clock. Lower the right knee down. Slide to Hanumanasana. Two straightish legs. I'm going to slide a block under. Squeeze the outer hips in. Sink in deeply. By sinking deeply, I mean sink in deeply in regard to keeping the contraction. So I'm drawing the legs in toward each other, hips in toward each other. And within that param those parameters of strength, I'm allowing some flexibility. Quads are engaged, right glutes are engaged. Trying to engage belly. Trying. Let go of story or observe that it's there, but stay with the breath. Drop the hips to the left. Bend the left knee toward half pigeon. I'm moving my block in front of me. I'm pushing down and it just feels good. It's giving me some force to lift the heart up. I'm getting um, lots of good sensation in my right psoas. Right hand comes down, bend the right knee. Reach back for your foot with your left hand. Twist as you kick that foot back. Maybe scissor the legs and reach the right arm up. Maybe look up. Maybe bend that elbow. And pick the head up with the hand. And then retrace your steps to release it. Lean a little to the left as you stretch your right leg back. Swing that right leg forward. Coming into fire log pose, you're going to cross right ankle over left thigh-ish. And flex both feet. To check with your ankles, don't be a sickler. Bring the hands in front of you. Think about hooking your left arm with your right foot as you fold in here. Maybe you don't fold. Maybe you stay upright and pull your fingers towards you to cement your butt down and traction through your spine. Focus on the breath. Notice how the mind is maybe trying to distract. Track your breath and sensation and allow it to change. Draw the belly in, slowly come on up. Transition to that figure four. The right ankle is over left thigh. Let's just enjoy this for a second. Chest lifting. Some nice, like, deep sensation here, yeah? And then we're gonna walk, see if we can walk it over without any harm. Oh, crab walk the hands forward. Oh, and lift the booty up. Hook the toes around the left arm. I think it's my, yeah, left arm. Walk the hands forward, grip the toes, and then just lower and lift that left foot. Five, four, yeah, just the left foot up and down. Three, uh -huh, that's it, that's it, yep, yep. Two. Cara, take your hands way forward. Is your, are your toes hooked on your arm? Hook, oh, maybe you can't take them. So first hook your toes and then take everything forward. What do you hook them on? Hook them on the arm. So they, look, can you see Anastasia? See how she has her toes on her arm? 
Becca, you might be doing it too, but you're in my square where I can't see anything because my TV's dying. So let me look, oh wait, if I look at my computer, I can see you. So you get the key is to hook the toes on the arm. I see you do it again. See that? Becca, okay, you too, you gotta hook the toes. <laughs> hook them. And then you kind of crawl the whole thing forward. Yes. Yes, and you have to grip, like your mind has to, has to like 3M your, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't try to logic. Logic is a bad idea. That's it, that's it. And then up and down with that back lever, back, nearly. Up and down, just down, okay, okay, nice. All right, good job, you guys. Um, all right, carefully come out of that. Inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle, rise up. Hallelujah, bend the elbows, open the heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees, come into chair pose. Bring the hands to the heart, left elbow outside of right leg, twist. Open the arms up, left hand to ground, top arm high. Belly in. Look down, pick up your left foot. Extend your left leg back. Twist open here. Reach your left hand under your shoulder, bend your left knee, reach back for the left foot. Twisting half moon. Pick your foot up as you turn left ribs toward right. Squeeze your left foot. Smile here. Release that foot down, open it up, half moon. Bend the standing leg, step back, warrior two. Flip it, reverse it. Right hand to right ankle, left arm high. Sweep left arm forward, overhead and down. Standing split on the right leg. Bend the left knee behind the right knee, curtsy. And then kick up, hold, or continue kicking in this inversion, or hold standing split, or something. Eventually, your left leg comes down, and you'll open to half moon on this left foot. Right arm goes up, tailbone under, ribs in. Right hand comes down, square the hips, place the right foot down next to the left. Inhale, rise, chair. Exhale, hands to the heart, right elbow, outside of left leg, prayer twist. Open the arms up, bottom hand to ground, top arm to sky. Look down, take your Right hand underneath your right shoulder, extend your right leg back. Pull your tummy in, squeeze your sits bones together, twisting half moon. Bend your right leg, maybe reach back for that foot. Kick that leg up. As you turn right ribs toward left, kick it. And release. Fold over that front leg. Curtsy the right knee behind the left. Place the palms and take a few hops or hold or something here. And when you're ready, bring it down. 
to the floor. Nice, beautiful, you guys. Yes. Okay. Cross so that your right leg is on top of your left when you're ready. Bring your left elbow nice to the outside of the right leg. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist. Press elbow to knee, knee to elbow. But be sweet here, don't go crazy. Look over your left shoulder. Turn to the left and keep going to the left 360 degrees until the left leg is on top of the right. So car, keep turning. That's 180. You want to go, oh, you made it. Never mind. My bad. You're good. You're good. You're there. You're perfect. Left leg in front of right. Right arm up. Elbow to the outside of the leg. Press. And slowly untwist, gently over to the right. Come to center, reach your hands forward, uncross your legs, draw your knees to your chest. Extend the legs straight and bend, extend and bend. Next time we extend, come down onto your sacrum, Sweep the arms behind you. Jackknife up into a ball and extend. Jackknife up. Five. Try not to use your hands. Just use your tummy. Four. I can't count. Three. I'm taking my arms behind me. That might be a little crazy. I'm taking them back. And hold that lower position. Arms overhead or wherever they're best. Legs out in front of you. Scoop the tailbone toward the feet. Ribs down. I'm going to rock here. Five, just tiny, tiny little rocks like an empty canoe. Four, hello canoe. Three, two, and fly flat. Yay. Draw your right knee in. Bend your left knee, cross your right ankle over it. Grip your mat. Roll your pelvis off the ground. Scooch your shoulder blades under you for support. Hold here. Find your bum and use it to support this shape. Firm the belly. Then draw the right knee to the chest and kick your right leg up. Pulse here with your left glute. Four. Three, two, hold, lift, place the right foot down. Cross the left ankle over the right thigh and just hold the shape. Take your peace fingers, place them on your hip bones and just see if the hips are level. Gauge using those fingers. Find your bum and use it to support you here. Draw the left knee to the chest. Extend up through that left leg. Pulse five. Use your right glute. Four, three, two. Lift it and recross, bring it down. Reach behind the right leg, pull in. Like we began, drop it over to the right. Press your left thigh away. Turn your head over your left shoulder. This time, bring your right hand to your left ankle 
and bring your right foot toward your right hip and come into this interesting sort of half lotus, this sort of angled twisted half lotus. And see if it will just do it. Like if that left eye will just go down toward the floor. That left knee will just reach down toward the earth. Engage your belly to lift the legs back up to center. Pull the left knee in and then the right knee. Cross the right ankle in front of the left. Reach behind, pull in. Right ankle over left thigh. Yep. And then the whole thing falls over to the left. My left hand grabs my right ankle and my right knee goes toward the front of the mat. My right arm is open, and my right knee goes from facing the ceiling to trying to reach for the ground. I take the tail, so my knee's here, and then it goes here. It was here, and then it goes here. But it's over on the left side. Yeah, and my left knee's on the floor. Kara, the other way, so the inner thigh faces the sky, not the outer thigh. I could be wrong. Oh, that is your inner thigh. Never mind. It's the clothes. I couldn't see. It was like, my bad. Good. Right arm open and turn the head to the right. Just can your right shoulder relax. And it's this weird sort of surrender. Like Lola's really good at this. Just like, okay. Lola's my dog. Car. And then slowly use your belly, make sure you're safe. Draw that right knee in, pull it into the chest, hug your left knee in too. Interlace your hands together, your fingers together and slide your knees into the creases of your elbows, your toes together. So you're in this happy baby on, not happy baby, sorry, child's pose on your back. But it's like this cradled child, should be called cradle child, but it's that. <sighs> So your thighs are pinned toward your torso and the knees are in the creases of the elbows and there's this really sweet opening to the lower back. And you, I'm rocking side to side, helping the cerebral spinal, the, the pulses of the cerebral spinal fluid, finding that gentle rock. Then I take my hands behind my head and start to send the legs out straight. I take my fingers to the second cervical vertebra, which is the, so my fingers are at the base of the skull where the head and neck meet. And that first little tiny bump I can feel should might be C2. I'm gonna press there gently, gently, gently and slide my skull back but leave my index fingers on the brainstem. With my one finger on the brainstem, I'm gonna take the other finger and place it, place it, two fingers actually, piece fingers, the other hand and place them over my closed eyelid. I'm gonna gently press and I'm gonna wait. Perhaps my eye will shift deeply back into the socket. You're, you might notice nothing. You might notice a lot of stuff going on with that eye. Just breathe and wait. And with the same two fingers, move them across to the other eye. Leaving the one finger on the brainstem. The other two fingers are pushing the eyeball gently, gently, gently back. It's all good. And I'm waiting for the resistance of the eye to calm down. If there isn't any, simply just wait or observe. Slide the hand that's behind the head 
forward and then cover both eyes with two fingers. And the eyes perhaps are already surrendered back into their sockets. You're just resting the fingers there. If the eyes haven't dropped back, you're still continuing to gently encourage that. You may notice that the breath has shifted. Then slide your fingers to the inner tips of your collarbones and rub. And continue to slide the fingers under the, um, under the ridge of the collarbone, the bottom ridge of the collarbones, all the way out toward the shoulders. Cup the shoulders when you get there. Pull them wide apart like you're stretching a hanger. And you'll feel the blades of the back slide maybe flatter. I don't know how to quite describe it. They, they slide flatter onto the back, we'll say. And perhaps still cupping the shoulders in your hands, you can feel the neck long and free. If there was any, if there were any impingements there, perhaps they released. And then straighten the arms down by your side. Roll the legs in and out, in and out and in and out until they feel surrendered. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and sigh out. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, sigh out. Take a deep breath in and hold it at the top. Exhale, sigh out. And let go of the body. Release any hold on the mind. Let go. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, yawn and stretch. Feel the tips of your toes and the tips of your fingers. Feeling the electrical body, this electrical system. This grid turning on. Draw the left knee into the chest, roll to the right side, cuddle up into a little ball. And breathe into your back body. Let the skin swim with this breath. Feel 
feeling the elasticity of the skin as it expands and contracts. Making room for expansion in the back body, connecting to something bigger than yourself, connecting to principles, to frequencies, to archetypes in their purest form through the back body. When you're dreaming, when you're imagining, when you're setting your course for your day, include this energy through the back, this information that comes in through the back, making space for God. Press the left hand down into the earth and rise. And as you rise, include your sides, your back, the cylindrical nature of self. There's just a lot of decorations on the front. But imagine that you were a blackberry or a boysenberry or any berry. And that you have seeds on all sides. Reach the arms up toward the light. Call it in. Bring it in through your hands to a prayer of your heart. Connecting to the sound of the earth and to your inner voice, we use the sound of OM together. Inhale. Let your mind receive all of these dreams of your wild, wild spirit. Thank you so much, you guys. I hope you have an amazing day. Um, you might have noticed the practice was different today. It's because you're all super strong and young and healthy and vital. And I left out all the stuff I normally do for the older crowd. So <laughs> this is a special class today, you guys. I hope you liked it. <laughs> Hope you're okay. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. It's awesome. I took it from like a level one to like a level four. So hopefully you're all okay. Take a yeah, breath. Yeah, yeah. All it's right. Good. It's fun. Bye. Thanks. See you Bye. later. Bye. Bye. Thank you.